Dr. Katalin Kariko is a Hungarian-born biochemist whose research is responsible for the mRNA vaccines that are in many of our arms protecting us against COVID. Dr. Kariko got her PhD in Hungary and she immigrated to the United States in 1985 with her husband and her young daughter. There were rules about how much money you could come over with at the time, so she stuffed the equivalent of about $1,200 in her daughter's teddy bear uh, before coming here. So came here with very little, got a job at the University of Pennsylvania. In about 1990, she was working on this research about something called mRNA. A traditional vaccine takes a dead virus or piece of that virus and introduces it to your body in order to train your immune system to fight it. But an mRNA vaccine does something unique. Rather than giving you a piece of the virus, it instead gives you a program or message to your body. And your cells themselves make a piece of that virus. And that piece of virus trains your immune system to fight the whole virus. What makes this more impressive is that because all you need is the genetic code of a virus, you can actually produce vaccines much more quickly than you can using traditional methods. It's cutting edge science. It's never been used in a widespread vaccine like this before. And Dr. Carrico saw the potential in mRNA science back in 1990. She studied it at Penn for years, five years in fact, until in 1995 she got demoted. In effect, she was ahead of her time, almost too far ahead. Because she kept applying for grants and the answer kept coming back no, she had no money, she had no backing. Uh, so she was demoted and sent back to a lower level of the scientific academy. She wasn't fired, so it allowed her to keep doing the work. But it was a huge step back in the trajectory of her career. So her husband was back in Hungary at this point dealing with the visa issue and she was diagnosed with cancer. No one would fault her for giving up. I, it, it would be enough to topple anyone between the demotion and getting ill yourself. She knew there was potential, but her bosses did not. But there was always one person who believed in her and she has actually said that really all it takes is one. If you have one person who buys into your idea and fund you and give you enough money to live on, you, your career can survive. And that's effectively what happened to her. Drew Weissman is her longtime collaborator at Penn. She really tried to get funding all through the 90s. And she said, every night I was working, grant, grant, grant. And it always came back, no, no, no. She has heard no so many times. And the fact that she persisted until she was successful, until we now all or those of us who've gotten vaccinated have this science in our bloodstreams, that is why she is on the 50 over 50. A lot of the stories on this list are stories of triumph, are stories of persistence, continuing to work even when the world is telling you stop. And she didn't just do it for her, she did it for humankind. It, it was difficult because the people did not believe that uh, messenger RNA can be a therapy and uh, Together with uh, my colleague, Drew Weissman, at the University of Pennsylvania, we developed uh, this method where we changed uh, one component in the RNA, which made it uh, less immunogenic, and uh, it is possible to use it for a different kind of therapy. And also, it turned out that it is the is better for vaccine. These vaccines are able to be scaled up quickly. They have proven to be highly effective even against viral mutations, and they are incredibly safe, even by the standards of vaccines, which are themselves very safe compared to other drugs. By refining the research, by refining the science, they figured out a way to make it safe. And that is why the technology was finally at a point that it was so promising when COVID became a pandemic, and it became clear that mRNA science would underpin the most successful vaccine. Patents that she shares with Dr. Drew Weisman are licensed to both BioNTech and Moderna for their mRNA vaccines. Her discoveries, which help these vaccines deliver their potent immune boosts, 
were originally developed for cancer vaccines and continued to be applied to research in that area. mRNA technology behind the vaccines is also being developed against other diseases, such as the flu and even heart disease. And really, we will celebrate when, uh, you know, this uh, human, human suffering is over, when, you know, the hardship and all of this terrible time will end. And uh, hopefully in the summer, when we will forget about uh, virus and vaccine, then, then, then I will be really celebrating. Every story about these vaccines, there's a reference to her. Uh, one of the heroes, you know, the unsung hero. You, you see the term again, again, and again. She is finally getting credit 